Okay, so uh, thank you guys. Uh, I was in a CLE yesterday. I know how painful it is to get up and have to endure uh, one of these. And so I will do my best to make it as interesting as possible uh, for you. Uh, it, that's going to require some participation, which I know is something else that we all hate when we go to CLEs because we just want the time to pass as quickly as possible. So I give you those warnings well in advance. I also give you this warning. I am young, right? A lot of people looking at me and thinking, I'm sure, what do you have to offer? Which is why it's going to be collaborative. There's a lot of collective experience in this room, and I would never suggest that I have it all, understand it all, or know it all. And so I will be tossing questions out to the audience uh, so that we can work through this. Time will pass, and we will all enjoy ourselves and get these last couple credits in before we all have to report, those of us that have to do so. So again, Jason Carter, um, I'm in private practice now. Uh, as he said, I started at the county prosecutor's office. That was my first job. I did that for just under a year. And then I got the call to go to the city of Euclid. And I was the assistant law director uh, and assistant prosecutor there for a number of years. And then went into private practice. I was part time there for a while and then went into private practice thereafter. My practice focuses on civil litigation, uh, criminal litigation. I do family law. And it's, it's a fairly broad practice. Um, at this day and age, I think I tell people all the time, it's hard to specialize and it's hard to also say no uh, when you have to pay the bills. And so I kind of take whatever I think I can handle that kind of comes in the door. And so that's afforded me a lot of opportunities to try a number of cases. I've, I've tried felony one cases. Uh, I've tried a number of cases at the misdemeanor level uh, and I've tried a number of civil cases. And so with that in mind, I wanted to kind of toss a couple things out because I think the world of law in terms of the presentation of an attorney uh, it's changing a bit, but I, I would love to know what you guys think about it. When I was trained as an attorney, uh, I was told that what you have to do is you want to wear a dark suit, which is why I did that today. Uh, when you're in court and you want to be extremely conservative, and that's what the juror wants to see from you. But I kind of feel like uh, that that's changing a bit. And so that's the first question I toss out as we all kind of wake up this morning. What do you guys think about that? Do you guys think that that is still a requirement that you be extremely conservative? when you are in front of either the trier of fact, uh, the juror, or do you think that there's a little more liberty in terms of the practice? Anybody? Yes. I don't think it matters that much. I just think they, I think it's a matter of your preparation as opposed to whether you have on a cat suit or a brown suit, or whether you have on a men blue tie or whatever. I think that, uh, I'm sure you be able to talk, but not on the suit, so you be able to talk. Okay. I was reading where uh, you start off, you know, conservative and somber and sober with the 